This was one of my favorite sets to put together. It looks amazing to go along with the rest of my collection. The only real complaint I had was that my TIE Fighter doesn't look anything like it did in the 360 view. I've gone ahead and attached the screenshot so you can see that this looks unlike anything I've ever seen when I put mine together it looked, well, symmetric, which is nothing like what I was expecting. As you can plainly see, this should have been something completely new to the canon and I would like to see some entries in the Holocron or the Star Wars Encyclopedia explaining what ship this is exactly. A fun build of Darth Vader's castle on Mustafa. I like the lava cascading down from the castle. Just that little touch adds a lot of flair to this model. It has an underground hangar for Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. As small as it is, I was quite surprised that the minifigure fit inside the cockpit. I do wish the window was clear on the TIE Fighter. It comes with two stud shooters on the TIE Fighter. It has some hidden compartments for ancient Sith relics. The back to tank was a nice touch. My favorite part is Darth Vader's meditation chamber with the holographic communication unit. There's a stud shooter cannon on top to take down anyone who dares trespass. I think this is an enjoyable kit for all ages and a great addition to anyone's collection. This Lego set, while pricey, is worth the money. So cool with many, many thoughtful details. It came with a lot of mini figures and each floor has many features, including a Bacta tank where Darth Vader can heal. Was a big hit as a gift for a Star Wars and Lego fan. It's also the tallest Lego he has so far. Scaling well over a foot tall.